Greetings and salutations is what the K plus Crusaders would say <laughs> on their show. But instead, this isn't it's that show. the Nerd on Update. <laughs> yeah, it's the weekly show where we talk about the nerdy news that we want to talk about. Because truly, because we said in so. a health way, and, no. and also truly in a health healthy way, it's probably the news you should you need to hear instead of the news you're getting like waterboarded with right now <laughs> in the world and the second part of the show where we answer the questions that you send to us um via four main ways two of them are probably the preferred ways but we'll talk about that later um and we won't even start the show really we're gonna catch up we're gonna talk uh i feel like it fe- it's funny every monday because you know every monday for those who've been keeping keeping on uh watching st- uh, 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 uh taking the time to check us out uh some mondays we don't do a stream and it's like where did they go and then you know we've been kind of uh playing it loose and fast and loose of like oh we're doing stuff we're making stuff on the back end and the patrons have been able to see that stuff um, but we haven't really shown it around the world yet or, or publicized it publicly. Um, so I, 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 what I was meant to say, I was like, I, I, I forget, like, did we do one last week? I was like, we did. I think it was me and yeah, Corey. It was, yeah, it was just I think the week before that was like, I think the week before that was me and Amy. And I was like, I was like, what, 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 what? Uh, so anyways, I want to answer. <laughs> we're doing what we can do. And I'm going to answer this to T-Dog. When Pikmin 2, Tom, bro, um... I gotta beat Kakarot. I gotta beat <laughs> Elden. I gotta get. I gotta get the Elden Ring DLC. There are you know, um, adult things. And also, like Josh, I don't know if you've seen in our you know company email, um, we get a lot of like requests to like do to like cover video games that are coming out. And I've been taking some of those stream keys uh or or, or uh, steam keys so i can like ideally do some videos for them so like i'll probably stream those way before pikmin 2 <laughs> um because way one before <clears throat> it's a free game two a company is reaching out so that we can ideally show it talk about it and then also like you know i played a pikmin i played a pikmin already t-dog i'm just gonna let you know uh and i heard you know pikmin 2 doesn't have the time limit which i'm like thank god like Josh, imagine any game you played and every level has like a 20 minute time limit. Like it, it's like so stressful. It's like more and I more mean, stressful than you need it to be. There are some things, some of the new Destiny content that is uh very limited. Uh, like uh, they give you a time and you're like, "Oh god. Oh god." Yeah. <laughs> so, uh It's very stressful. I'm, I'm I'm in the phase of life right now in games. I need to, you know, have a nice beverage on the side whether it's tea coffee or cold one i just need to relax i need to like you know like this is my chance to like <laughs> anyways josh I, get it. I totally get it josh what, what's 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 new what's going on with you what's what's the weekend what are we what are we telling the people today what is going on well i will give some personal news because i'm really excited about it uh it's been a long time coming and it is a career it's milestone it's been a long time no um i am officially going to be well no i am not going to i am a member of sag after now hey uh, that's what's up congrats dude i'm i'm scared but also really really excited um it's just such a career milestone that I feel like an actor works towards. I've wanted it since, gosh, I've wanted it for over a decade. I mean, since I was in college and I don't know. So it's, it's, it's really cool. I'm really excited. Was I, I think I was gone, but I also, I adopted some tortoises. Have I said that on the show? I don't think I have yet. I don't know if you have. I I feel like you might have put it in the Discord or something. Yeah, but I, I posted don't know some pictures. Uh, hmm. I got the names. Uh, Sid and Nancy. Uh, they're actually Sid two girls. Sid and Nancy. Sid and Nancy. Um, I adopted them from a local nonprofit. That that's what they do. They rehome tortoises because uh, I learned that a lot of tortoises are essentially thrown out sometimes like thrown out in like one of ours was dug out of a dumpster um 
because what happens is that people get them from a pet store and they're like this tiny and they're like, oh my gosh, oh, they're so boy. cute. And then they get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I like, ours aren't that big. They're like, they're not very big. They're like maybe 700 grams each. They're, they're very tiny. Um, but they will get huge and people don't know that. And they're like, oh, I'll throw it. Like it, but anyway. So they have, buy, they literally have buyer's remorse. Yeah, they have buyer's remorse. Just like way too late. Um, so yeah, I've just been kind of like working out in the yard and, and, and all that kind of jazz. But uh, yeah. do you yeah. know the story of my turtles? No. I had turtles when I was a little kid, obviously. I was like four. And like my parents, like, you know, my parents were like, responsibility. You got to. And I was like, psh, 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 psh. And a four, as a four year old, I was like, psh. I got this. I woke up every day. Dunk the little pellets, scrub the sides, you know, the fucking tank. Made sure the the little waterfall thing was clean. Put a little pellet in that shit. Came home from school, spec a little bit more, clean the thing before I go to bed. Clean the thing, go to bed, and always had a light on. And I was like, cool, I don't need a nightlight anymore. I'm four years old. I got turtles. By the time I was like six, I think, uh, the turtles like I started getting like, you know, a little bit. And my dad was like, we're gonna take him out for a walk. And then I was like. What does that mean? Put them in a bag, took me in the car, drove me to the park where we had a little pond. We walked out. He says, stay in the car, came back, no turtles in hand. And I was like, it was one of those things. Have you, you seen the boys? You've seen the boys season one? I'm sorry. Just a second. <laughs> Oh, the turtles went out for a walk and just never came back. Oh, my never God. Back. In, you've seen the boys, right? Season yeah. one. Yeah. Spoilers, everyone. You know, the inciting incident with yeah. Huey. Yeah. Is exactly how I felt where it was just like, I can't even react. <laughs> I was like, as a kid, I'm like, I, I can't even I can't even reject it because I was like so blindsided by the whole thing. Um, but uh, wow. Yeah, man. I, I did what I was supposed to do. I was responsible. Never, you know, didn't matter. Didn't have you fucking ever, matter. Like, have um, you, as an adult and as you've grown up, have you ever been like, I kind of want more turtles? Dude, I when I was like a f like old enough to drive by myself to go, like go to that park, I was like, I wonder if they're still around. I was like, probably, but I'll just never see them. You know, like they have like plenty of things to like. There's there was like little fish in there. There was like I was like, oh, they're 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 fine. They're probably fine. I was like, they're turtles. It's like how hard. There's no natural predators around here, and I'm like, mm, it's fine, fine. So, wow. Um, but wow. you know, I was kind of like, all right, release back to nature. Yeah. Um, easy come, easy go. Uh, but uh, so tortoise, tortoises, yeah, and and tortoises. Seg after anything else exciting, dude? Uh, what else? Um, not much. I've been, uh, I've been. <laughs> this is such a weird thing. I started editing editing this podcast that uh, a rabbi hosts, um, mm. and he's in Jerusalem right now, like interviewing people uh, during what's going on over there, and it's really really interesting. Uh, but otherwise, just kinda, <laughs> otherwise, just kind of you know, just being here and living life. <laughs> it's you know. It's a it's an interesting time. We'll talk about it in the uh, news. Yeah, uh, I watched five like five movies, bro. I watched this Maxine. Past, this I weekend, watched Long Legs. I watched Warcraft, and I watched Lego Batman. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of it's kind of easy when it's like cool Friday night, cool uh, when I get home, watch another movie, and then Saturday, and then Sunday, and I'm like, all right, I watched four movies. Um, but, uh, interesting time for horror movies. I'll say, I will say, uh, it, it's interesting to see the conversation between long legs and Maxine. I think I have you seen the X and, um, Pearl movies. I haven't, but like, I don't, for some reason I saw the trailer of Maxine and I kind of went, uh, like my eyebrow went, hmm. interesting. It'd be, I would love to hear your perspective on it because, I'm not going to give away it, but I will say the general theme of the movies are the desire for uh, importance and fame is often 
made with a violent and bloody path. Mm. Um, it's a very interesting, cool conversation that the movie and the director or writer are having about like perform like the entertainment world and and the celebrity of it all um i think i told i've told you like me and my friends from up north will do like every day we watch a horror movie yeah um and During i'm probably we're, right? we're, we're, yeah and we're all pretty excited we want to do it again and uh shameless plug if anyone wants to do it on nerd on i will put a list out and it's like cool if you want to follow along let us know but oh, if do you, you guys pre it's, it's a list lot. So on like September, we'll like it's like three of us. Now it's four of us, my roommate included now. Um we'll do like let's say it's you and me. So it's like I pick one, you pick one, you pick one, I pick one. So we'll like snake draft it. Um and it's just like the number one rule is it has to be on a streamer that we all have access to. Mm. And then cool, on the I get the first, you get the second, you get the third, I get the fourth, I get the fifth, you get the, you know, so, like, we'll go down the line, and then, like, I, I was so mad, because fucking, I got the Friday the 13th, and everyone's like, Tom, you go to put Friday, I was like, man, fuck you, I don't want to watch that movie, <laughs> <And I> was, <laughs> but they're like, those, stuff like that happens, and no, sometimes we you. put stuff, that, sometimes we'll put shit there, they're like, Tom, this movie sucked balls, and they're like, Tom, this was like, or like, one guy, he just, he's already watched most of them, he's like, oh, that's a good one, and then people are like, I can't watch it. And, and that's the thing, too. Like, usually you're supposed to watch it once a day. But, like, life happens. So, like, we're like, hey, if you don't watch it, every, like, once a, you know, watch a movie a day, like, just watch two in one day or watch three, you know, over the weekend or whatever the fuck you need to do just so that we usually reconvene on a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And then we just talk it's about like them. Like a book club? Like last week. A book club for yeah. like what the yeah. last week. It, and it was all created out of the pandemic because of loneliness and needing to communicate and connect. Yeah. We're and like, right, might as well do it. Yeah. 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 Have, you, have you seen Sorry. uh have you seen high tension? Oh do, do, okay. <laughs> uh so uh on YouTube on our channel, uh I put up a top whatever fucking twenty twenty three movies. That was in my top ten. Oh really? Uh because that who I don't know who fucking suggested it, but I that movie fucked me up. It it's fucking insane. It is I, a French horror film. Is, all I gotta say is like, oh my god. That I was just like, oh my god. I hate like I was like, oh like just the, when the first shot of the killer and in the van, I was like, what am I? What what is this? This is fucked up. I had no and idea I was, that I, the French were so fucked up. Oh yeah, I I was, but I was like, and and it's kind of like regarded as like a really not good movie because of the ultra violence like a lot of people are like don't watch it, it's too violent that and movie I'm like, fucked me oh. up well like it, I, it's fucked up yeah i i saw it uh when i was doing that thing i've talked about where i i just said fuck it and i started renting uh horror movies i started working through the horror movie section of hollywood video and that movie and house of a thousand corpses just fucked me up i don't think i went past h after that <laughs> <laughs> well I'll, I'll tell you one that we put on and i'm like you know i don't want to yuck anyone's yum but like there was a movie that reminded all of us why we don't like and i like it was funny us four guys we all really don't like the found footage genre mm, like paranormal and activity there's one in blair witch project well sometimes they're done they're, sometimes they're done well and like the thing is like we had creep on there and creep too and we really liked Creep 2. And it was like really surprising because we really disliked Hell House LLC. Mm. And that one's a found footage. And I was like, this, I, 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 I can't not like it. I can't, I can't like it. I can't like it. That's the phrase. I can't like oh, it. It's shit, hard for me to like this. Duplass? Creep, yeah. Oh my gosh. That's interesting. Um, it's interesting. The first one, Corey really likes it. I think the second one's like, infinitely better infinitely much more interesting because this first one is kind of like i know what's gonna happen this is not super original and i'm like i think and a lot of people like give it a lot of praise the first one a lot of praise because it's like so indie it's like so indie Mm -hmm. and they're like oh my god you could do this yourself and but like they did it and you're like oh and then the second one they're like Oh, this is creepy. This is some weirdo fucked up shit. I'm like, I'm about this shit. Um, anyways, uh, we 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 we've lollygagged enough. We can talk about some news. Um, you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? You go first. 
All right. You go first. News for me this week. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the MCU because, you know, that's what all the fucking... Because that's what we do uh, here. I was going to say, that's what all the fake news outlets talk about. And that's what we are. MCU, fake news. MCU no, opinions. Because, <laughs> look, we're not journalists, like, right? We're not journalists. And I every mean, fucking outlet. We is like, are, but, like, very, like, I don't mean low level, as in we're not, like, low level, but we're, like, we dabble. We are. I would say this. Wait, <laughs> we're more like to me, like I like we're hosts. We're podcast hosts. We're personality hosts. Right. Mm-hmm. But like there are people who are like, that's what you guys are. They're like, no, we're a news and review. But it's like, shut the fuck up. All your opinions suck. <laughs> and all your <laughs> information secondhand. So it's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, uh, MCU shit, uh, um, particularly uh, Blade, um, Kevin Feige. Uh, offered some updates apparently and a lot of people were like doing the internet thing it's a movie about vampires it's more than just a movie about vampires you why are you guys getting mad about mcu taking their time when you get mad that mcu rushes stuff so it's like you know that shit why are you but mad? also like but also like it's the blade movies becoming more and more infamous because like directors and writers and cast members are just leaving left and right is the budgets ballooning. Cause it's staying in development. Um, but uh, something else uh, kind of interesting happened over the weekend. Uh, the Russo brothers, most notably uh, for kind of taking the tonal shift after Joss Whedon kind of, took off after John Favreau with the old MCU MCU look uh, with the winter soldier captain America and Avengers three and four, uh, will be returning for Avengers. I believe five and six. Oh, wow. Um, because, uh, I believe Daniel Destin Cretton, who I believe that's his name, who directed Shang-Chi short term 12, dropped out of directing Avengers five King dynasty. Um, there's a question real quick. I think I want to answer. Are they ever going to do anything with the black Knight after the teasing Eternals? I said, I put it, I put it in a tweet. I put it in two, well, 150 characters or 200 characters. And I said, this is how you do it. You say the Avengers, the defenders, all these heroes live in the daytime over at nighttime. When everyone sleeps, blade is the one that protects the city. That's how you, you frame it up. There's like, how do you explain vampires? Like, cause they hide among us when we're sleeping. None of the shit happens in MCU at night. Everything happens at night for blade. Lilith, a powerful demon comes back. And not only that blade has to fight vampires because he's been winning the war. He's been winning the war against vampires, but now Lilith is bringing demons in order to beat the demons. Blade needs to find um, the sword. I forget the specific sword. And that what brings him to fucking Kit Harrington in Black, the Black Knight from the Eternals. And that's why you got that one Blade voiceover cameo from the Eternals movie. And then boom, boom. And then you get like a baby uh, origin for that character because we're over origin movies now. So it's like, cool. That, that, bada bing, bada boom. And at the end of the movie, you spoil, you, you, you tease that Doctor Strange like, I need to create the Midnight Suns. It's like, okay, there we go. It must have been really go. impactful because I don't know what you're talking about. The Black Knight? Was that a post credit? No. I, I mean, this is the funny thing, right? I was I was just talking to somebody about like how they're like, oh, but there's going to do a lot of big stuff in Marvel. Like, they kind of hit all the big shit because all the big players all got retired. And then I was like, Iron Man was as popular as Aquaman. <laughs> And then they made him, they're like, we'll make a whole universe off of Iron Man. It's like, imagine if the DC movies were all universe after Aquaman. And then they're like, we got Thor, we got Cap, we got Spider-Man. And now we don't even know what the future of Spider-Man is going to be. And we have now Shang-Chi. And like, again, it's nothing against like the characters or the actors, but it's like Shang-Chi, Kamala Khan, these new characters we're bringing in are still currently like C-listers. They have not like bubbled up where it's like Iron Man now is an A lister because of how well the first movie was done. So it's you know it's 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 just it's interesting to see because like nothing's really that significant in the entire Marvel landscape. Like the most significant thing in the comic books is probably mutants and Fantastic Four. 
and like outside of the Avengers characters. Like, like if you don't have Wolverine, you're not going to do Iron Man, you're not going to do Captain America story, you're not doing ideally more Thor stories, or, or that's going to take a backseat. Ant Man hasn't been relative in a fucking ever. Um, and like, so we'll see. But, anyways, the last bit of news I wanted to bring up because this is cool news that Josh could give a fuck about. The Todd Father hey. gives an update about the Spawn movie at hey. Blumhouse starring Jamie Foxx as Al Simmons. The film is officially titled King Spawn. Curious. And it will have the storyline where Spawn, who's been spawning it up for a while, <laughs> is forced to take the mantle of the King of Hell um, when one of the characters who currently resides on the throne leaves to go to earth. So uh, we'll see. Apparently as Todd McFarlane says, it's an active, active, active development. So, well, okay then. Uh, so I, I'm excited to see that. That's awesome. Okay. That's listen, I will take a modern spawn movie. That's it. That's yeah. it's not going to take much to, to please me. Uh, and Jamie Foxx is not bad. He's not bad. So I'm he's interested. Kind of nominated. He's kind of two time Oscar nominated. Yeah. I mean, one time winner. He's, he's, not, <laughs> he's, he's not bad. Uh, was that your news? That's all my news, baby. I've got like a little, I've got like two out of three things are related to unions. So uh, I'll start with the one that kind of, I mean, is near and dear to my heart um, because I am a new member, which is very exciting card is in the mail um sag aftra has basically they have been given let me get the uh direct wording basically the board has given the negotiator the the high and mighty negotiator to let's do it let's fucking go on strike you're allowed to do it do the thing um i just like to give a really quick tldr version of this the interactive media agreement expired in 2022. And of course, it was kind of put on hold ish while the other strikes were going on. And then um, SAG AFTRA members voted for authorization of a strike uh, like nine months ago. And they've mm -hmm. been going and going, and, and negotiations have just been uh, an issue. Uh, not great, and it's with companies like Activision, EA, Epic Games, Insomniac, w WB Games, and more. And uh, the big, the big, big thing is uh, AI protections, um, and uh, performers also want um, pay to be increased based on um, even just modern day. What is the word? What is the word? Inflation. Sorry. Um, hmm. So. Yeah, it's been, I don't know, it's been interesting to watch, not, I mean, as a non-member, but now as a member, I'm kind of like, okay. I mean, most of my work has been in video games, but it's been non-union, so, um, yeah, cost of living, T-Dog, yeah. Uh, the AI thing is, is, it's a big thing, and I think it's, yeah, I feel like we've already talked about it, and we'll probably talk about it again in the coming months. Um... Speaking, oh, unions, another one, which I think is, I think this is really interesting. Uh, Bethesda Game Studios has unionized. They uh, they are the first Microsoft game developer, developer to, full, to fully unionize under the Communication Workers of America, CWA, forming a wall-to-wall -wall union of developers including artists, engineers, programmers, and designers. And the cool thing about it is Microsoft has recognized the union. Um, I think it's really interesting. Uh, unionization is becoming, I mean, it's a pretty big thing. A lot of different uh, organizations are starting to unionize. And like uh, one that recently happened too was Roughly 300 quality assurance workers within ZeniMax, which is the parent company of Bethesda, they unionized. Um, a couple of years ago, Microsoft said that they would not stop Activision Blizzard employees from unionizing if they did. 
Uh, they would All right. They would recognize it. That was 2022, so who knows? Um, I mean, I don't know. In the current world that we live in, I mean, gaming aside, actors aside, anything, I come from a, the, the place that I think about it is just people, human beings. And I'm like, human beings deserve, I mean, no matter what you are, whether you're a developer, an artist, like a, an actor or whatever, it's just your artist and your work should be compensated. And you should be able to have, I saw a breakdown recently that hardly anybody makes a living wage nowadays which yeah is fucking wild um but yeah so that's cool and then the last thing kind of old news i mean technically it would have been on last week's show but um i find this case to be incredibly interesting uh we reported on this when it originally happened which was 2021 um there was unfortunately a fatal shooting on the set of Rust, and mm-hmm. um, the cinematographer, right? The cinematographer the, was killed. Yeah, the, a uh, director of photography, cinematographer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they were killed, and the director was um, uh, injured as well. But uh, Alec Baldwin, in the course of that, was put on trial. He was arrested for. Uh, involuntary manslaughter is that what it what it is? Involuntary um, manslaughter, correct. Yeah. Um, and the armorer as well. I believe they were actually tried and convicted just a couple of months ago. Um, basically, what happened was the the case was thrown out because on the on the basis that the prosecution uh, withheld evidence that would be beneficial for um, Baldwin's team. And that's a big no-no. And the the judge was basically like, "Listen, this is this should have been brought up months ago, so that the defense could have a response, so that they could, you know, figure it out, um, figure out what this means." Um, and yeah, so it was thrown out. There is still uh, the. I'm sorry, I say her wrong. I, I don't know how to say her her name. Helena? Helena? Yeah, Helena. Helena Hutchins, the unfortunate person that died, uh, the person that unfortunately died, words. Their family is going to do a civil case, so it's not completely done. I think it's interesting just as, I mean, I don't know, from a movie standpoint and people have jobs, I mean, I've heard arguments from people that are like, well, he should have known. He should have known that the, the gun had live ammunition or he should have just been like knowledgeable enough to understand the difference. I just don't think I mean, he's an actor. I just don't think that, that was part of his job responsibility, but he was the producer of it, too. So the producer should have known that. Producer should know everything. OK. Like this is a, should... that's this is, that's why it's such a, a sticky conversational piece because it's an independent movie and if he's the producer for it like these are one of those things like can you really be a producer yeah because if you don't know what all your departments are doing and like this is the thing right like the armor was tried for negligence and it's yes. kind of like cool you hire people that are negligent then right that's yeah. a reflection on you I guess. So it's like, that's why it's like, yeah. but then like, the thing is like, which hat is he wearing when he's on screen? Right. Yeah. And so like, those are the, the those are the, the pitfalls. And it's like, to me, it's like, there is no cl- cut and dry black and white. Us humans love black and white. Right. We and wrong. love that shit. But it's like, this is not one of those situations where it's like, you know, to me, it's like, cool. If I fucking have to like, you know, if it's upon me to like, do a thing, set up a thing, cook all this food. All of a sudden, like, Tom, you didn't fucking watch out for the peanut allergy. I'm like, well, Jesus Christ. You know, it's like, I am one guy. But it's kind of like one of those things, like, are you one guy in these situations? Could you have done, like, there are are a lot of things that happen. And it's like, again, one of the things, like, is this the props person only? It's like, cool. Like, 
and and like has the prop person has a history of like being of like negligence like they do and did the producers look into that no but it's one of those things like should you be held based on the prior experiences you had maybe maybe you need to grow up and then maybe you need a second chance but then if you fuck up on your second chance yeah then now you now you got egg on the other guy's face i mean i can under i can i can understand the the idea of the the role of producer being kind of hands on all in all pots so to speak um i just i i just don't think that it's his fault i don't think that he should be tried for involuntary manslaughter for something like this i that's that's at least my opinion uh i don't think it's right or wrong like in this particular i think way, like you said it's technically just... in the black and white since he's the man unfortunately that pulls the trigger like he has to have some kind of trial it's kind of like if you know you're getting kidnapped and then like you get behind the car but then you crash into someone else and that person unfortunately passes away like you were saving your life but you still have to get tried mm-hmm. like that's that's the thing and it's, and it's up to the defense as well as the legal system ideally to figure out the hard decision <laughs> like this and that's why it's one of those like you might have a 12 angry men situation where it's like People are gonna be like, dude, this is such a hard case to figure out. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I like what, that, what Brad said. I mean, at the end of the day, um, live ammunition was brought to set, which shouldn't have happened at all. Like, so, like, again, I, I'll, I'll reread anything I need to, but I remember reading a lot about this stuff, and a lot of people had been saying that, like, people had been bringing live ammunition to set all the time, and they were off set, like, when they weren't shooting. They would take the guns, which were again when they're prop guns, they're supposed to be like not functional, and but they took real guns, and then they put live ammunition and they shoot like beer cans and bottles and shit like that, offset, and fuck around. So it's like cool, you're using you're like again like I I I have a prop gun, like I legit have a prop gun that was like, it's a, it's a it's a um, it's a CO two gun, so like it actually has real pop pop pop. And then I have like a, a silencer with it and I went to a prop store and I bought it for like 150 bucks and they like had to tool it and all that stuff. And like, yeah, we work for Hawaii Five-0, we've done Star Wars, we've done all these other things. And it's like, cool. But then like, again, it's one of those like super indie, you can get your sources from other places, but it's like, you know, so it's like, uh, uh, it's, well, it's one of those things I mean, like- I'll, everyone... I'll end, the, I'll end the, 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 the conversation here. I don't agree that he should be I just don't think that he should. That's my opinion of it. Whether it's right or wrong, I and there are a lot. Like you said, it's there are so many. I think of the dude from the Big Lebowski. Listen, man, there's a lot of things, man. New shit has come to light. There's a lot going well, on well, here. I was, gonna say, I was gonna say it's like if he's going to some an argument could be made that everyone on set should be because like everyone kind of allowed it to happen too. If that's the case, right? Because if everyone knew there was live ammunition at some point, it's like. What are we doing? What are we doing, guys? You know, so it's like, yeah. So it's like, obviously, like, the whole soul blame should not go to him, for sure. Yeah. Um, I did have one bit of news I forgot to mention. Uh, Arcane Season 2, because you were mentioning about the game company. And I was like, oh, well, I guess. I for-, And I wrote it in, in the news thing, but it's like, Arcane Season 2 was announced. And interestingly enough, in the weird back-ass way that, like, if video games and and a stream a big streamer can do right by the world is that they're all, they're doing cuz it's very rare that an original streaming program is actually doing a physical copy of the show that people like so arcane season 1 will be available for physical purchase which is like rare it's one of those things like oh yay physical media yeah um and i saw a report recently actually that uh physical media was at an all time high in I the last it. like 5 years I and i was like it. Oh shit, Brad, you're you're moving the needle. <laughs> it's all Brad. I promise you. Um, but uh, yeah, that that's the last bit of the the news. I, I mean, I, physical I media. Like me. I've been thinking about it like lately, and I'm like, man, I want I want a vinyl of the Elden Ring soundtrack. I want a vinyl of the Godzilla minus one soundtrack. Like I want like 4K Blu-rays. Like I'm like, but man, space space putting them places anyway should we move to the next part of the show 
Let's do the next part. Let's do the next part. This is the next part of the show. We are there. We have officially transitioned there. And this is where we answer questions from you, the people. And like Tom mentioned before, there are so many ways to submit those questions. If you go to our website, nerdon.tv slash questions, you can find those way. But TLDR, just join the Discord. Uh, nerdon.tv slash discord there are channels within there that you can submit your questions but the absolutely best way is to join the nerdon nation that's powered by patreon and you not only get uh, exclusive content but you also get to submit your questions and they'll be answered first and you can ask questions like b rad what's up shout out uh what's your go-to coffee order do you have a favorite drink or spot You got one? Uh, I like coffee bean. That's, uh, it's just Bonnie and I just always go there. Like when Bonnie and I start first started dating, that was like that one thing that I knew that I could bring her was coffee bean. She loved it. Um, and so it just became mine too. And we just, we don't go there that often, but that's when I do get it. And then when I get coffee nowadays, because I try not to get too much sugar, I'll usually get a regular ass latte with almond milk and like usually an extra shot and uh, usually one Splenda, depending on the size of it. If it's a large, I'll get two. If it's a medium, I'll get one. But yeah, that's what it is now. Um, I like this local spot I've been going to lately. Um, it's right down the street from where I live. It's called Three Sisters. Mm. um and it's a local family owned biz and uh they're right next to a, a bar that some old coworkers used to go to but I, I i drove by and i was like what the fuck is this and i was like i've never seen this shit what the fuck is a three sisters and then i went by and it's like a cute little 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 spot you know yeah. and i'm like you know like little young yuppies go there and then like old industry looks folks looks like they go there yep, i'm looking at it and now. um they have a drink there that I usually get. It's called the Grizzly, mm-hmm. and uh, it's fucked up. It's uh, four shots of espresso. Holy um, shit. Some cinnamon, and I don't know, and I think like regular milk or whatever the fuck. And yeah, I drink that shit up. I gobble it up, and um, it's 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 good for me. I Whenever I go to a coffee spot, I don't ever bother with the menu. I literally walk up to the person. I'm like, give me the coldest, strongest thing you can leg- legally give me. Have you been to Horror and- Vibes? I have been horror vibes right right across the street for me. Yeah, I I really want to go. Did there. I dox myself? <laughs> <laughs> it's around me. <laughs> it's somewhere near. I really want to go because uh, uh, it's good. It looks uh, really it's cool. Good. It's good. It's I, I again. I'm not someone who goes to a place to sit there for a long time unless I'm meeting with somebody, mm-hmm. and that's one of those places. Like absolutely, I would not sit in there. I would like go there, look around, see the stuff, maybe buy something I don't need and get out. But like the coffee is really good. And I think they have like a revolving menu. So they change uh-huh. it up. So Whoa, um, the the, uh, the three sisters has cafe au lait. Cafe au lait. What does that mean? It's coffee with milk. It's I oh. usually get it when I'm in New Orleans. That I love. I love that. And um, what was I going to say was... Uh, uh three sisters also does a magic magic commander night on wednesdays and like it's because i think one of the sisters likes commander and so i'm like and they're they're, they're, they 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 just did their first year like they just had their business open for a year and like i like to you know we always talk about local businesses and stuff like that so i'm like oh i want to go and i want to meet whoever likes the commander i'm gonna fucking (laughs) <laughs> Pub i would smash love it them. if she just wipes the floor with you oh that'd be great i mean that'd be cool i'll, I'll, I'll look I'll, you know, and you know me you know me i'll be like whoever wins buys coffee <laughs> Damn. i just like open a tab like that and, you know i'll just be that fucking cretin that does that shit but anyways um no uh yeah horror vibes they have, cool they have a mrs the horror vibe coffee has mrs smorhees it's toasted s'mores latte mm. with chocolate drizzle marshmallows. That's Ooh. their current collection. The funny thing about Horror Vibes is that it, it came out of the ashes of this one coffee spot I wanted to try a long time ago, but that coffee shop caught on fire. <laughs> and it was 
like it had hemp coffee and i was like i want to try hemp coffee what that what's that all about you know i was like and there and, was uh, a death and now it's haunted i thought that's where the story was going but i guess not. no no, no. It, was just, it just caught on fire there was next to this one like sushi strip club rodeo oh. spot oh Gr- people go crazy i would go out of the out of the lemley and people just be like doing conga lines and all of a sudden that whole place got on fire i was like what happened <laughs> well, uh, they yeah. have some drinks that i'm like oh man i just want to try it okay we're gonna have to hang out and walk down there uh, yeah. um next question next question dude next question go is from spencer what up shout out if I gave you three thousand dollars, but you could only spend it on nerd on, what would you do with it? Is it just each of us gets three thousand? So like each of us gets three thousand bucks. Okay, so that's six thousand, six thousand dollars, or is it? Just... You don't you don't think about my money. You play with your money. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry what I'm going to spend. You spend. All right, go you you go first. Because what if you buy what I? Because I don't I don't want to waste money. So. And I don't want to spend to go what the through fuck the return. You would buy. <laughs> um, if I had three thousand dollars to spend it on nerd on, what would I do with it? Oh, uh, I would probably find some really really cheap flights in cheap hotels and get us out of the country, and then we just make a video and do a podcast out out in a cool country, and then we come back. I would use three thousand if I blow it all on one. On two videos, maybe. Um, obviously, if we're there for like three days, we could knock out three we videos. We could pull it off. Maybe knock out three podcasts, but three thousand. It um, it's doable. Just that's what I would do. Like, and I would go to like, if we can go to like Rome, or if we go to like fucking Japan, or if we go to like fucking. Uh, I get these uh, Paris. these, these oh, Paris. I get these flight notifications. It used to be called Scott's Cheap Flights, but I think they changed to Going. And so, what they do is they they it's not that they're selling it. They just they've taken it upon themselves. Their 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 business model is that they find the deals, and then they're like, okay. And their whole model is like using Google Flights, and um, it's really interesting. Some of the flights, I'm like, oh wow, oh wow. Sometimes it's cheaper to fly out of the country than it is to fly within the country. And I don't like that. I mean, that's one thing I could do with it. I have a secondary, but what is Josh, it? No, ahead. you tell me. I yeah. mean, three thousand dollars can't do much in LA. No. But oh boy, would I use it to try and like haggle and convince somebody? to like build me a set mm. that's like this is our set this is where we oh all do gosh. our live show and all our shit from now on i wish we had a set. whatever we can do man a building that we could just go to i miss i think we were just talking about this i miss the live aspect of just being together like i was thinking like that's what i would want but three thousand dollars isn't Unfortunately, it's not a lot of money. It's it's like a million dollars isn't a lot of money. You think it is, but it's not. Three thousand dollars isn't a lot of money. Um, so it's like, what would I do with it? I mean, there's a part of me that goes maybe marketing, but uh, what does that actually do? Maybe some billboards on major things, maybe. Um, but I don't even know if that would be effective. Um, Because we have had a billboard in a major uh, section of the freeway, a very busy section of the freeway. I have no idea if that was that was helpful. Um, I mean, I think we're good on gear. I mean, we're we've we don't have any gear needs. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'd save it probably. I just, I'd probably save it. Uh, I'm. I'll be real. I would invest it in Nvidia and then bring it back. <laughs> no, I, I, I'd want to like. I mean, the thing that I really want for us is like, God, I would. Even if we rented a place, just like once a week or once a month, I miss. Yeah, I miss the live aspect it, it's of our show. It's 
expensive. Just just to give this answer a little bit more clarity of why three thousand doesn't do too much. That's why I was like, I'd spend it on a fucking trip because like that's the most bang for our buck we could honestly get. Um, because like trying to get a place that's the crazy thing. I could spend three thousand bucks and probably get all three of us to go somewhere before I would spend that to rent a place for twelve hours. Because renting a bar in LA for one of my short films was four thousand dollars for two days, Christ. and I was like, "Jesus Christ, man!" I, I could like, How much and, you know, was the load, uh, load diner out. roundabout? You don't diner? Get, yeah, that was super cheap. That was, um, I think, four hundred dollars. Oh, okay. for ten hours. Okay, that was. I think, if I remember, isn't that one of the reasons you picked it? Yeah, yeah I went for yeah. the cheapest thing I could fucking yeah. find. And that's why I was so fucking far away. <laughs> and I and like I was like, I live across the street from a diner. I'm like, I ain't gonna fuck with them because they're gonna be like, they're gonna bleed you. And that's the thing, like, you can find good locations if you're willing to drive far away. So it's yeah. like so that's that's always a tough thing. Okay. Um next question. Yeah, next question is T Dog. Hey, what's up? Shout out. What's the weirdest outfits you've worn on purpose? Weirdest thing outfits I've worn on purpose. I don't want to say it's weird because I know it's a lifestyle for some. Mm, but I, I have I dressed up as a woman on multiple occasions. I have dressed up. One as was a woman. for a show. Mm -hmm. One was for a. I think a high school, everyone just dresses up in weird ways. And like, I really got into it because I was just like, because people were like, I obviously wanted, I think, I think it was like gender bender day. I think that's what it was literally called gender bender day. And me and my friend would actually go really hardcore into it where like, we would actually just go ask, it, it would be a little bit of a weird thing where we'd ask hot girls to like do our makeup and hair so that we'd like actually get to talk to them. Um, but then they love that shit. Cause they're just like, Oh, we're going to wear your like, tall tees and your baggy pants then i was like i don't care that's fine with me um but uh that's probably the weirdest thing i've ever worn on purpose i have it's not weird if that's your lifestyle but it was weird for me because yeah i don't I mean, normally if, if you don't normally yeah it's weird for you um i mean you're asking actor i've been i've dressed as a monk like a, i've dressed as a friar I've cross-dressed. Um, I <laughs> used to be a costume character at uh, SeaWorld a long time ago. I was Shamu, the polar bear. Um, I, uh, I dressed I up as Deadpool once, uh, twice, and maybe three out, times. I went to a convention just like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Anything weirder my... than the outfit I was wearing? That's what T-Dog says. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and and you you could see that on the Discord, and I don't know, man. I don't know. If that's really weird. <laughs> Let me take a look. Let me look one more time. But I don't think that was really weird. Um, I was really proud of my um, my was it my it was either my senior year of high school or my junior year of high school. My prom, I went to um, <laughs> I got a blue paisley tuxedo and Ooh. uh blue paisley and it had a like a frilly shirt and frilly... so you're just going as dumb and dumber yeah but it was blue paisley my senior year was a um a blue dumb and dumber tuxedo i didn't have the top hat because they didn't have that but um yeah i was pretty proud of oh blue paisley. blue paisley looks a lot nicer than what the fuck dumb and dumber wore <laughs> well and uh, the the blue the blue tuxedo dumb and dumber i did do for my senior year so mm -hmm. it was, i didn't want a regular tuxedo ew ew i didn't um, even wear a tux right was it was you say senior prom junior senior prom my school was so small that they did junior senior yeah, I didn't even wear that shit because our shit. Yeah, 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 I just wore a button up in a blue, blue, blue vest because I was one of those guys. Nice, um, nice. Uh, that is all of the, um, yeah, all of the the pre-submitted questions or the ones that I have. You have your own little bucket you keep. I do. Um, I'm just looking at this picture of the T Dog said to look at in the Discord. 
I'm just going to describe it for those who aren't on it and they should be on it. Um, it's a Batman mask with a pink crown, a pink hoodie looking thing, uh, and then a, a orange life vest and some kind of tropical pants Which and a channel brown. Is this in? It's in the up, nation update questions and then a br- some brown boots. Uh, I cannot share it on the screen, T Dog, because I'm not hosting it. Um, but I don't know, man. I don't know. That's that, that that weird. And this is the thing. Again, not trying to yuck anyone's yum. Josh and I, we've been to some conventions. We've seen nerd <laughs> I've shit. Seen some shit. And to me, nothing. As a high schooler, when I was, you know, that was so many years ago. To me, weirdest things were like now normal, which is like the maid outfit girls who wear like tails and have ears. And I was like, that was weird. But I'm like, I see that quite often now. I'm not saying I see it every day, but I'm like, okay, that's what it's expected. So like, it's not, it's not, you know, I, 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 I that's not weird to me. <laughs> it's just not it weird. It takes a me. lot for me to go, shit, man, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. I've seen some shit. Know. And so that, I'm like, um, I mean. And I'm not saying if you wanted to be weird and that was your uh, objective, then, you know, I think. Yes, it's not traditional. Uh, I wouldn't normally come across it, but I'd be, I wouldn't. If you if this person came to me and I was working on my job, I'd be like, "Hello, sir. Do you need help with anything today?" <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be like, "What are you doing?" Well, uh, you can't be dressed like. I'd be like, "Wait, what's going on?" Man? Um, but I'm doing uh, there this was the a- long way. I might be able to share this. I'm I'm trying to see if I can. I took it from my phone. And I airdropped it to my Mac, and I uploaded it to our um, G Drive. Now I'm downloading it. And you don't want to just add a window capture and then just... Nah, man. That's just... Okay. Because that's, that's, well, that's what Brad and I think I do. Because when I do the host... And Corey will just talk about something. I'll literally just throw it over my face. I'm like, don't even look at me. I'm just going to show you what I'm, <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's here we go. Uh, it's almost. I gotta find it. It's in downloads. Sterling downloads. And I do have a, a question ready for us uh, after this after okay. this feature presentation. All right, here we go. That is uh, this is the outfit in question. It. I mean, let's let's zoom it in. All right, we got a pink there crown. You go. We got a Batman. Yeah. All right, all right. I mean, it kind of looks comfortable, actually. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, you know. All right, what's the next question? Next question comes from Bad Reprint. It came in from today's chat. It is. Oh God, can I read it? Uh, what's the most expensive nerdy collectible you have, and what's one you wish you could buy? Gotham 1919 to 1939 Tune and Fairweather Grace Given Limited Edition. I have no idea what the fuck you just said. I have no idea what the fuck that you just said. But uh, yeah, what's yeah. a nerdy collectible? You, the most expensive nerdy collectible you have, and which one you wish you could buy? Um, I probably wish I could buy uh any expensive magic card because i could just sell it because that's the first thing i would do like magic actually is one of those things where like if i ever cracked open something that's collectible and it's like worth a lot of value i'll sell it immediately there's a lot there's very few things that like oh when i have something of, of high value i'm like i'll just keep it like i won't sell it but like magic is like something really stupid where like i buy a 40 dollar booster pack which is expensive that's like 15 pieces of cardboard for 40 dollars but inside of it, I could get a seventy-nine thousand dollar card, and I'm like, I will sell this immediately. <laughs> I will sell this I immediately. Will sell this uh, immediately, yeah. I have. I mean, this is the thing. I don't have. I don't think I have like very expensive nerdy collectible stuff. I'll tell you right now, I have a priceless nerdy thing. Uh, I have like a decal piece from the Batman vs Superman set of uh, the like that was used in the gym of that was on set. Um, that's something I, I think is cool. Yeah. Um, but uh, I mean, I have not a graded 
uh, trading cards, but I do have some. You know what? Actually, I have a whole app where I can see how much my cards are valued, and I'm like, oh, I should. I haven't. I haven't checked that in a long time. Um, Josh, do you have anything? Um, I mean, one collectible that means a lot to me uh, is a preacher. I have a preacher statue. I don't. I mean, you might. You can't see it, but it's up on top of this shelf behind me. Um, it's Jesse Custer uh, lighting a cigarette over his grandmother, who's dead on the ground. Um, it means a lot to me because there was this big comic book store down in San Diego uh, around La Mesa. And Buzz, uh, I've talked about him before, and I used to go there. Uh, it's actually like my first comic book store. Uh, and I saw that because he had just, in- he had just, I mean, I had read Preacher. He had introduced me to it, and it was my first comic book, and I just, I absolutely loved it. And um, when I moved out of San Diego, he bought it for me, and it was like hundreds Aww. of dollars. I mean, it's That's it's cool. a really it's a really nice one. Um, I also like my uh, Spawn. I have a Spawn action figure that was from. The Kickstarter that Todd McFarlane did um, a few years back, and I have like a signed plate from him. What I've always wanted, that I just thought would be really fucking cool, is one of those like medieval Spawn statues. Medieval, mm. the medieval variant of Spawn is like my favorite. He's just so cool, um, and I've seen some pretty cool statues that are pretty massive. That I'm like, that would be so cool. But they are. I never spell medieval correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking up the spawn right now. And yeah, he's pretty baller. He looks like. Oh, man, dude. Could, dude, dude, dude. Could you imagine a skin of his armor in Elden Ring, bro? <laughs> bro. Oh, my bro. God. <laughs> that would be baller as fuck. Um. I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a concrete answer. Um, I have a first edition holographic base uh, Venusaur card from the Pokemon trading card game, um, and I'm using an app to see the value of it. It's not graded, and I think this actually is the non-graded cost. It's eight hundred and fifty dollars. So that's probably my most expensive trading card that I own. I use. It's funny because be... like a Char's a, Char, a Charizard card is not as expensive. Okay. Or my Charizard card's not that expensive. My Charizard's not first edition, so it's only only worth three hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. I used to so. I used to collect um, uh, baseball cards growing up, and I had like I had some pretty major rookie cards, like even like old school vintage like Mickey Mantle rookie cards, and I have no idea what happened to them. I'm pretty sure my dad sold them. Good for him. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, here we are. <laughs> wow. Uh, if it's a quick question, hard, hard. we can do one more. One more. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We can also, we can also just find some buddy to raid and. Oh, this, this is an easy question. And then we also find some raid. Brad, give us a suggestion while we answer this last question. This is from Mamba and it's not like a up to date question, but it's a good question. From Mamba, what do you feel that people should be looking into that people aren't? It's very uh, on theme with our podcast endings, aren't they? <laughs> One cool thing. Um, hmm. I have one while you think. Okay. Um, I've been saying it, and I'll say it again because I just started rewatching it in anime, and it's on Netflix. There's an English dub for all those who don't want to read. But if you do want to read, God bless you. I didn't read it because I'd watch the dub anime called Hajime no Ippo, the fighting. And it's about this fucking really nice kid in high school who gets bullied all the time. And then he gets recruited to become a boxer. And it's like him learning about boxing. And it's so wholesome. Um, He ends up like, and he's like, actually just like a lonely kid who wants to have a fan, like wants to have friends and like his main boxer mentors, like the big brother and all that stuff. It's, it's so fucking good. And like, I've been, trying to run lately because uh daddy's getting a little chonkers over here so 
Um, I needed a little, I needed a little motivation Your bar for chonkers is pretty low. I mean, is pretty low. <laughs> I, I was, Oh, I grew up as the skinny kid. So like that, when I got thicker, I was like, cool. And I'm like, I'm getting older. Can I lose the weight as quickly as I used to? The answer is no. So I'm like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go boy. And, and I hate fucking cardio. So I'm just like, <laughs> just like i gotta i have been doing pilates twice two to three times a week and i feel good i feel good good it's nice uh it's good for my back um okay so uh b rad has put something out there rosalyn yep is that is that what you're saying pilates is something people should look into oh sorry yeah actually I'm gonna say that because I was like, what? What else would I say? Maybe Cobra Kai. <laughs> oh, yeah, final season. The new the, hey. the new season is out. There's gonna be three parts of it. Uh, but otherwise, Pilates. I mean, don't knock until you try it. It's good for men. It's good for women. I think it's really beneficial. Uh, it's good for you. It's good for good everybody. For, it's good for everybody. Um, Josh, your posture looks a little better. Your back. Thanks you. Yeah yeah uh but everybody home you're getting the uh you're getting the raid ready i'm ready to press it whenever you're ready okay well i'm gonna start uh singing us out everybody at home thank you so much for hanging out with us and and spreading the love the nerd on love we appreciate that uh if you are new and you're like man this is interesting i like these people uh check out our website nerdon.tv um it has all of our episodes there are a lot, hundreds of episodes, and YouTube. Check out our YouTube. But uh, that's it. Take care of yourselves. You know the drill. As always, nerd on. Nerd on.